Hey there everyone, today is another magical day at Walt Disney World and today I'm doing a lot of fun things. First of all, it's my first time back in the parks since the Disney Cruise and I am so glad to be back. Second, I'm trying some new tech and third, we're back for Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. Let's go have some Halloween fun. The new tech that I'm trying today is a brand new camera system. It's not just the camera and the mic, it's the whole system. I'm trying the relatively new DJI Osmo Pocket. It is the size of this. This is a little case for it. It all fits right in here in my pocket. I can put the whole camera system in my pocket in this little case. I, I love the portability. We'll see if the, if the you know quality comes out. Trying it at low light for that reason. You'll let me know. I'm very excited for this test though because if this works, this is like super small amazingness. I feel like the tram has become my magical express in a way. I feel like the magic, yes, of course, it starts when you enter the gate, but it's even more magical when you step on board the Disney tram. It's becoming more and more magical every time. You can tell the temperature is definitely getting a lot cooler. You know, it's uh, September, so we're getting there. Eventually, it's going to get really cool. I don't know, I've never experienced a Disney winter living here, so it's going to be really cool. One of the biggest differences is the field of view. You can tell it's a little bit tighter here. I'm getting another lens to give it another try kind of on top of this one to see if it fixes a little bit, make it a little bit wider. We'll find out together, but I really hope this works. It would be awesome. So. Two big concerns with a camera like this. First of all, that field of view, which we're working on. Second big one, and this is a big one, battery life. In the time <laughs> that I've gone from the uh, from the car parking lot to the monorail right here, it's 96% battery. Of course, you can charge it on the go, which is good to know. That's just a thought on my mind. It's on my mind at the moment. Is there a possibility that I might make the silver monorail again? Come on, monorail. Wait for me. Wait for me, I'm almost there. Yes, we made it! The big differences in the silver monorail are the cushy chairs. The chairs have a lot more cushion to them. The silver matches the silver on the outside, which is awesome. Monorail silver, right up there you can see it. And it just has a general new feel to it. Other than that, it's the same monorail that we know and love. And I love it, I really do. But this refresh is, is nice. I think the plusher chairs really do help. And right outside there's Bay Lake Tower. It looks really, really good at night. I'm looking forward to staying there one day in the future. One day, it'll be really good. Keep in mind, I'm on a moving monorail for this, so the camera is definitely shaking. That three-axis gibble definitely helps right there. You let me know. I think it looks pretty good. I wonder what Tron's gonna look like at night. That's gonna be really cool, kind of next to Space Mountain, like Tron all lit up. I think that's gonna be awesome. And riding it at night, I think it's gonna be one of those things you just have to do it. You gotta experience it at night, it's gonna be amazing. And just like that, we're back in the Magic Kingdom. I've got my party band right there, ready for an adventure. It is the dark blue one today. Hi there, how are you? Tonight I wanna see Boo to You. That's probably my highest priority of the night. Love it. Maybe the fireworks, but it's gonna be kind of a quick Quick night again, battery now at 92%. It is going so fast, but fun test. Oh, looks like they've closed this off right over here. I think I'm just a little bit too late. I think they closed it at eight. I don't know where I can get my candy bag, but I'll find out. Just found out that if you do arrive at the party after 8 p.m., they close this entranceway right back there. Kind of tough to see myself with a super small screen, but that's okay. And to get your party bag, you actually just go to any of the treat locations. Super helpful to know. I feel like I've got the entire soundtrack for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party memorized. I feel like I know it all. Now we're getting to the true low light test. That must be very difficult for you to see, but we'll find out. Post production, you definitely let me know. It's the first time I'm seeing the new Tomorrowland sign right behind me. It's very unlikely that you can see this, but I wanted to show it to you right ahead. Take a look at this. That is the brand new Tomorrowland sign. Definitely a modern, sleek look to it. We will come back during the daylight hours, but it looks very, very cool. I'm loving that look. I kind of do miss, yes indeed, that uh, the original one. The original one was one of my favorites, so you know, I'm hoping that you know it would be closer to that, but that's okay. I'm sure it's still gonna lead to a fantastic Tomorrowland. For that first candy and candy bag of the night, I'm headed through Monsters, Inc. for the uh, double treat trail here. Thanks to Chelsea, got my first bag of candy, and take a look. We're doing some of the uh, Monsters, Inc. show right here as we're walking through. Thank you, thank you very much. And just like that, got a half full bag of candy. Let's make our way. The main greet line with Stitch is relatively short there. I'm tempted by it, definitely tempted. The time is now 8.24, and I think I'm gonna make my way toward Frontierland to watch Boo to You. I feel like it's just a parade I wanna see right now. 
be a great test of the camera. It's going to be fun to experience together. There's that pumpkin picture right here on the way out of Tomorrowland. And there is Cinderella Castle. Take a look on the right-hand side. I don't think I've shown you this one before. The Monsters, Inc. projections. They're on the other side as well, but it's cool to see them here. I am, I am amazed. <laughs> there's, there's so many people here. It's unbelievable to see how many people are here. Wow. Another great test of more low light, but the crowds are so intense. They flood into the street here. I know it's for the uh, Hocus Pocus Villains Spectacular, but I haven't seen crowds like this in... Uh, and most of the time I've been coming to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party this year. Take a look here through Adventureland. There is Jane, Turk, and Tarzan meeting with guests right there. That's definitely I want to do want to experience with you before the year's out. Super crowded by Main Street USA, but right outside of Skipper Canteen, actually relatively empty. I like it. One tip that I like to use quite a bit, when it gets super crowded by Main Street USA in that area, come by Frontierland. You're going to find open spots when it is packed, absolutely packed over there. The time is now 8.39. Take a look. There's no one right next to me here. That whole pathway is open at the moment. Not to worry. I've got a spot right here by the front. I have no doubt it's going to fill up momentarily. I feel like I've seen it from Frontierland so many times now. It's not a bad thing. You know, Frontierland's a great spot for it. Pretty well lit and pretty low crowds, which I really like. But it's, uh, we're going to have to change that up soon. Now, one feature I really want to try with this camera is the motion time lapse, something I've really been interested in as soon as I heard about this camera. I'm going to give it a try just as I'm sitting here, see what it looks like. Just gave it a try and took a look at it. It's very short, but I can definitely see the potential in something like that. You take the motion kind of across the screen over time. Of course, the battery is really dying now because that did take some battery out of it but it's a very cool feature to have in such a small little camera. Now we just have 10 minutes to wait before the parade begins. Who leads them all? Oh, he's looking around. Oh my gosh, there he is. Wow. And Matt Hatter, look at that Super Donald costume. Very different than the one we saw on board. I love the differences. Good to see you. Oh, I love it. Ah, oh, here they go. I love it. Look at the cannon full of gold right there. That's so cool to see. Look at that ship, and you know what? I hadn't noticed the uh, pirate skull right there is actually glowing. That is so cool. I've never actually looked up there before. Oh, wow. Look at that sword he's got. That's awesome. <laughs> Wow. Look at those sparks fly. Oh my god. Woo. Oh my gosh, so scary. <laughs> Watch her come right down here. This is so cool. I love to see this. Open the pathway, here we go. Oh my gosh, that's so cool to see. Woo! He's holding a bag right there. Such an amazing show to see. All the choreography, you gotta think about every small movement has been thought through. I can't decide which costume I like best on Chip and Dale. Probably the cops and robbers, but these are awesome. Pain right there in panic. <laughs> Always love this one. One of my all time favorites at Disney. Good to you. Halloween break. First impressions of a nighttime parade with the Osmo Pocket. Pretty impressed. Got a little warm, and the battery is probably about 65% at this point. But a low light test, I think, performed pretty well. I'll uh, let you know if I have any other thoughts right there in the, uh, in the video, in the text. But. Uh, so far, first impressions, pretty good. After the parade, I walked through Adventureland, went under the sign, waved my way back to Main Street, USA. I beat the parade all the way around, but I didn't realize by how much I would beat it. Believe it or not, I can see the Incredibles right over there. The Incredibles right there. So I basically fought half the parade, almost half, by just walking over to Main Street, USA. Wow. Time is now 9.45 p.m. on a weekday, and I'm starting to, um, feel the difference with being a Florida resident. You, you don't feel like you can stay nearly as late because you're not on vacation every single day. It's, you know, just coming to the parks, enjoying yourself, 
it is very different. It's changing for me a little bit. Not not the magic. It's the the ability to stay for long periods of time when I have to wake up early for work tomorrow. That's the difference. So it's a small change, but I'd much rather be here. It's funny, once you cross a certain point, you really cannot stop and continue to shuffle you along Main Street, USA. You're staying to our right. Thank you very much. Make your way in this direction, around, kind of around the flagpole. Very interesting. We're crossing as the parade is right over there. It's really fast. This transition, there's a lot of people around me trying to get out of the Magic Kingdom right now, but we're actually making our way and I kind of a cross to meet some characters. Really cool how this works. I made my way all the way around and I'm meeting Mr. Incredible with a relatively good view. Very interesting, another transition here. A lot of people just crossed and then Wreck-It Ralph kind of paused for a moment to let everybody cross and then he went. That was awesome. Now that the parade is over, I'm making my way for just one meet and greet. Hopefully I can get there without too many crowds around me. We'll find out momentarily. Walt Disney Theater, it's getting crowded fast. Really fast. So excited to meet Mickey in his Halloween costume, but take a look. The photo box is working right now. It's taking pictures automatically as you're meeting with Mickey. I'm looking forward to seeing how they turn out. I'm ready for Halloween. I'm, I'm excited for it. I already got a bunch of candy, as you can see. I'm gonna try not to eat it all at once. The I know, I, you, want, you want a few? You want, is, it, is it like a the mouse mouse party candy? All right, let's see. I, I've, Skittles, I don't know if you want Skittles. Yeah, I know, then we gotta work it off for the holidays. The holidays are right around the corner. Oh, yeah. it's, it's tough to, we're gonna go to the gym between Halloween and the holidays, right? As that's the key. But who's gonna be our gym leader? Like Goofy? I think Goofy could take us to the gym? Yeah, he could probably, he could probably get us all off. You know, there's my magic band right there to link the photos. Hopefully they turn out really, really well. Again, couldn't tell about the angle of the camera as I was meeting Mickey, but love that meeting you never get so We can go back again and again. So how it works is Blaine, who's actually one of the character attendants in the blue shirts, he was there kind of helping, making sure everything was clear and you were clear of a picture. You could actually take the picture with Mickey, which was great, but there was no photo pass photographer. So I'm not sure how the close-ups will look or when I gave Mickey a hug, if the photos are able to kind of zoom in on my face. Again, that's one of those things that I prefer if there was a live photographer, that's me. I like photos and photography gear and playing with cameras and all that good stuff. But it does make more sense if they can put those photographers out and about throughout the parks, which I think would be the plan. It would make a lot of sense if that was the plan. Time is now 10, 10 at night and I am past the time that I said I would be here. I said I would be on my way out by 10, so gotta start making my way out now just because otherwise I'm gonna end up in the cycle of not getting enough sleep. And that's not good, that's not a good thing. So this is a quick test of the Osmo Pocket and some Halloween party fun. And it was a lot of fun. Five minutes into the fireworks, but I promised myself I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rested so that I can do this again and again and again with you and do not so scary again and do food and wine and so much, so much. That's all right, we're coming back real soon. 10, 11 right now, totally possible to capture the fireworks as as we're riding the monorail. That would be great. Speaking of seeing fireworks on board, there they go. Very cool. There they are. Wow. Wow, that is amazing. What an experience. Wow. You can hear the soundtrack for the Halloween Spectacular projection show here in the Transportation Ticket Center. I love that. Osmo Pocket Note, I'm at 43% battery. It was in there for less than two hours. So that's a super short battery life. Something I'd have to get used to, bring a charger for, but uh, could definitely be a lot of fun. Still, still looking for those fireworks. I see a few of them over there. It's always weird for me to walk away from fireworks. That I think is gonna take a little while to get used to, walking away from beautiful fireworks. Eh, hopefully it doesn't happen too, too often. So very early initial impressions of the Osmo Pocket. Love the portability, love the lightness. I have, I have no backpack, I have nothing else. I slip this whole camera into my pocket in this little pouch when I'm not using it. Two things, two things I'm thinking about right now. Field of view, meaning how much of the screen you can see. We have to move really far away for you to see any amount of space here. Uh, second thought is the battery life. That's one that, uh, it might take me some time to get used to that one, because uh, you cannot replace the battery. You have to charge it while it's recording. Third thought is the uh, microphone. Don't know how it sounds yet. I'm gonna leave a little note right there, let you know what I thought of it in the uh, post editing, but I, I kind of want to make this one work. I'm gonna do everything in my power to make this one work. This one 
it's just it's too convenient it's too nice now one of the biggest negatives of course can't take those really nice photos i love photography love taking those photos so i've been trying to find a camera that can do both really portable great for vlogging and can take those amazing photos so really tough to do maybe it'd be kind of like a two system setup where i have a, a camera there those fireworks still going a camera and something like this for kind of other day vlogging i, I don't know i'm still deciding still figuring it out I don't know. I, again, it's a work in progress. I just want to hear what you think. What do you think? Do you like these tests? What is your favorite part of this one? Least favorite part? Let me know in the comments and we will continue to search for the perfect camera together. It's part of the, part of the uh, journey together. All the way around the perimeter there. Look at that. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Overall, a truly magical night. Love using new tech. Love just coming out. It's been a lot of editing. I've been editing all those cruise vlogs and now we get back to the party and it feels amazing to be back just experiencing Walt Disney World again with you. I love it. You know I do. It never gets old to me. I've been learning that you have to text or take a picture of the uh, number where you're parked every single time because you say to yourself, oh, I'll remember. I'll remember. No big deal. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's more difficult than you might think. This is a monumentally large parking lot. Magic Kingdom parking lot is enormous. So to think that we'll just remember where our cars are, at this is just not going to happen. There's too many magical things happening to remember where your car is. So, okay, SCAR 423 to 421, somewhere in there. I uh, t voice texted it to myself, so it got SCAR 420, but I missed the last digit. We'll, we'll get there. We're, we're close. In recent years, Siri uh, voice text has not been nearly as accurate as, uh, as I would expect. Hopefully that's... Uh, not just me. Oh, I hear it. Sure enough, found the car. Thank you so much for sharing in the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the DJI Osmo Pocket. Should I continue to use it, continue to test it? Things you like, things you didn't. Is it the best you've ever seen? The worst you've ever seen? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, have a truly magical day.